Do you ever wonder if there's more going on behind the magnificent stone structures left by previous civilizations? What if these massive structures, found all over the world from the scorching dry jungles of Cambodia to the bright plains of Egypt, were not only religious monuments, but intricate devices designed to harness forces that our species is just now beginning to understand? Prepare to embark on a journey that will challenge everything you thought you knew about history, physics, and the very nature of reality itself. Dr. Konstantin Meil is known for his controversial theories. German physicist Dr. Konstantin Meil has dedicated decades to solving a puzzle that spans millennia and spans continents. His groundbreaking research suggests that many of the most famous temples of antiquity were not just religious relics, but advanced devices built to harness a form of scalar physics once known to the ancients and now lost to mainstream science. In a series of meticulously researched books and papers first published in the early 2000s, Meyer lays out the mathematical and experimental evidence for the existence of scalar waves and their incredible implications for antiquity. He demonstrates how the seemingly anomalous construction techniques and geometric layout of temples worldwide point to an advanced understanding of resonance, telluric currents, and higher dimensional physics on the part of their builders. Scalar Waves 101 Longitudinal Waves and Wormholes in Space-Time To grasp the revolutionary nature of Mayo's findings, one must first understand the basics of scalar wave physics. Unlike the familiar electromagnetic waves that power our modern technologies which oscillate transversely or sideways to their direction of travel, scalar waves are longitudinal, consisting of alternating compression and rarefaction zones like sound waves. Imagine throwing a pebble into a pond. The ripples you see spreading outward are not like traditional electromagnetic waves. Instead, visualize the compression and release of a slinky toy. The way it expands and contracts along its length is more akin to scalar waves. But here's where it gets really interesting. While sound waves need a medium like air or water to propagate, scalar waves don't. They pass through the very structure of space-time, defying our conventional understanding of physics. Generating Scalar Waves Mayo's theoretical framework, which combines Nikola Tesla's experimental work with James Clerk Maxwell's original electromagnetic equations, states that there are two main ways to generate scalar waves. One, as a longitudinal component of electromagnetic emissions, detectable in the near field of antennas and coils. Two, by rapidly rotating or compressing any mass, we create localized space-time vortices, or torsion fields. Scalar fields mind-bending properties. Once generated, these scalar fields exhibit some truly mind-bending properties, including the following, superluminal velocity. Because they tunnel through higher dimensions, scalar waves can propagate many times faster than light without violating relativity. Non-locality. Two scalar wave sources can become instantly entangled, allowing them to affect each other at any distance without transmitting energy through space, tetrahedral or toroidal geometry. Scalar fields take the shape of a self-sustaining vortex, similar to a smoke ring or donut, which can pass through electromagnetic shielding. Fractal compression phase conjugate mirrors can enfold large amounts of information into a scalar wave's infinitely complex interference pattern and decrypt it. Standing waves and traveling waves. Some scalar fields, like those produced by the Schumann resonance of the Earth, are standing waves that fill space with a stationary pattern of nodes. Others take the form of traveling waves that spiral through space-time, creating oscillating zones of expansion and contraction. Certain frequencies and amplitudes of scalar energy can induce resonance in physical objects or biological tissue, leading to structural changes at the molecular or even atomic level. This property has profound implications for both healing technologies and potential weapon systems. Detection and Measurement Challenges Standard equipment such as Tesla coils, cloud chambers, and Geiger counters can indirectly measure the effects of scalar waves, but conventional methods currently cannot detect or block scalar fields themselves. This makes them ideal for stealth communication and electrogravitics propulsion technology. 
Some researchers in the field of scalar physics even claim these self-contained hyperspatial vortices can rip traversable wormhole tunnels between distant locations, dimensions, or time frames under the right conditions, a phenomenon that may explain the baffling appearances and disappearances of UFOs. Temples as scalar wave transmitters, wireless energy and the dodecahedron of creation. After extensively analyzing the world's best-preserved ancient temples with an array of sensitive magnetometers and field induction coils, Mile noticed an unmistakable pattern in the placement and proportions of the primary chambers, which almost always incorporated one of five basic shapes, sphere, the simplest resonant cavity, often appearing as a stone lingam, cube, a six-faced platonic solid, seen in Ethiopia's rock-hewn churches, octahedron, an eight-faced polyhedron, similar to the Hindu temple of Telikamandir, dodecahedron, a 12-faced Pythagorean solid, as in Costa Rica's giant stone spheres, and icosahedron, the largest platonic form with 20 equilateral triangle faces. By drawing the electric and magnetic field lines inside these holy enclosures, Mayo found that they all work as three-dimensional waveguides that boost certain eigenfrequencies, or resonant harmonics of the scalar spectrum. Just as the dimensions of a pipe organ's air column determine its tonal scale, the specific angles and ratios of the temple chambers tune them to focus and ring with particular frequencies of scalar energy from the Earth, atmosphere, and cosmos. The dodecahedron key to ancient scalar technology. The basic unit of this ancient temple technology, according to Mile, is the dodecahedron, a 12-sided platonic solid with pentagonal faces that occurs regularly in nature, from quasi-crystals to carbon fullerenes. When spun at a specific RPM, such objects emit a measurable scalar field that couples with the ambient vacuum fluctuation of space-time itself. Each face of the dodecahedron corresponds to one of the 12 notes in the musical scale used in temples worldwide, with its edges symbolizing the ratios of the golden mean employed in sacred architecture from Egypt to Greece. Fine-tuning scalar emissions By putting these platonic forms in different groups inside the central chamber, or tela, of a temple, the builders were able to fine-tune its scalar emissions to match the cycles of the planets and stars. Mayo believes this allowed the temples to tap into the limitless zero-point energy of the quantum vacuum, making them self-powered scalar wave generators capable of wirelessly transmitting energy and information via the Earth's magnetic field. The Great Pyramid, a gigawatt-scale scalar generator, Mayo's calculations suggest the Great Pyramid, with its complex arrangement of ventilation shafts and chambers, could have originally produced several gigawatts of power comparable to a modern nuclear plant. This astounding claim challenges our entire understanding of ancient technological capabilities. The Global Temple Network, Altering Earth's Scalar Template However, Mile believes that the functions of these megalithic marvels extended far beyond mere energy generation. By synchronizing the pulsed output of temples across regions and continents, via a system he calls the dodecahedron of creation, ancient priests could have intentionally altered the planet's scalar template, the quantum field that underlies all matter and energy, including thought. A synchronized network may have included the stone circles, mounds, and pyramids that blanket the globe, often along the same latitudes, to amplify the impact of ritual activities on the Earth's etheric field or body. Ley Lines and Vile Vortices This global grid of sacred sites connected by what some call ley lines or vile vortices could have served as a vast antenna array for broadcasting scalar information not only around the Earth, but to and from other star systems and planes of reality. Researchers like Bruce Cathy have mapped these planetary grid lines, finding that many ancient sites align perfectly with this proposed energy network. The implications of such a system, if it indeed exists, are staggering. Scalar temples as ascension portals, gateways to higher planes, 
Perhaps the most radical implication of Miles' work is that the scalar fields focused by sacred sites may allow direct access to hyperspace, the higher dimensional realms described throughout the world's spiritual traditions. Scalar waves propagate beyond the confines of three-dimensional space and linear time, providing potential portals or wormholes to other levels of reality coexisting with ours but vibrating at a higher frequency or density. This lines up with the countless myths and legends involving trips to and from supernatural planes via temples, pyramids, and stone circles. From Jacob's visionary dream at Bethel to the Buddha's enlightenment at Bodh Gaya, individuals throughout history have reported spontaneous experiences of interdimensional travel, cosmic consciousness, and even physical dematerialization at certain sacred sites. Brain waves and altered states, though easily dismissed as subjective hallucinations, Mayo's research suggests such phenomena may have an objective basis in the scalar physics encoded at these locations. Scalar fields tuned to the human brain's alpha or theta waves could induce a frame shift in consciousness, facilitating awareness of these higher levels of existence. According to frontier scientists like Dr. Elizabeth Rauscher, who has extensively studied the link between Tesla coils and altered states of mind. This theory aligns with the work of researchers like Dr. Michael Persinger, whose God Helmet experiments have demonstrated that specific electromagnetic field patterns can reliably induce some level of mystical experiences and altered states of consciousness. The Global Scalar Grid, A Hidden Legacy as more researchers begin to take Miles' work seriously and apply it to their own experiments and explorations, the outline of an ancient global system of hyperdimensional temples is becoming clearer. Though the names and faces of the gods and heroes linked with these sites differ from culture to culture, the underlying scalar architecture is remarkably consistent, from the mountains of Tibet to the remote islands of the Pacific. Interesting geometrical patterns emerge when plotting the location and orientation of ancient temples on a world map. Grids of latitude and longitude linking seemingly isolated sites into a vast planetary network. People sometimes refer to these ley lines and vile vortices as surviving fragments of an antenna array, intended to broadcast scalar information not only around the Earth, but also to and from other star systems and planes of reality. Reactivating the grid? Some believe that reactivating this grid by reconnecting its scattered nodes and chakras, stone circles, sacred springs, temple mounts, would initiate a global shift in consciousness, ushering in the golden age foretold in prophecy. Groups like Martin Gray's Sacred Sites International are now using scalar detectors and ultra-sensitive magnetometers to identify and map the key energy points at ancient pilgrimage destinations, revealing the long-dormant engineering principles behind their transformative power. A new paradigm emerges. One thing is certain, the revolutionary scalar physics possibilities teased by Mayo's discoveries in sacred architecture are too important to ignore as more scientists and laypeople wake up to the impact this lost science could have on every aspect of our world. From ecology and education to industry and space travel, the pressure for its full disclosure will only build. The journey to understand scalar waves and their role in ancient technology is far from over. It calls for open minds, rigorous scientific inquiry, and a willingness to challenge our preconceptions about the nature of reality itself. As we stand on the brink of potentially world-changing discoveries, one can't help but wonder what other secrets might be hiding in plain sight, waiting for us to rediscover them.